everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Jessie here! If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And then please don't forget to subscribe. So click the subscribe button below. Don't forget to click the notification bell below to get more updates on new uploaded videos. Art has been a very important part of my life and part of that, when I was a child, I was also creating DIY dresses for my Barbies and also makeshift home for them. So recently, I've been wanting to buy a letter board to take note of some words that spoke to me during my quiet time. But when I saw a medium-sized whiteboard and also a rubber magnet inside our storage. So it immediately gave me an idea to create my own letterboard. So on today's video, I will be featuring how I created this wonderful letterboard that I made myself. Kaya nga DIY, di ba? So, yeah, why not? And of course, I just needed to plan wisely how I could dispose uh, materials that I've used like masking tape and also yung mga residue or yung mga excess from the uh, letterboard cutouts that uh, I use. So I will also share with you how to uh, make sure that those waste that we produce for our DIY projects will, uh, will not affect the environment in a very bad way. So, without further ado, let's get started! Whiteboard Rubber magnet sheet Cut the sheet based on your desired size Cutting mat Ruler Scissors Cutter Pencil Masking tape And spray paint As of now, I'm still looking for a more eco-friendly swap for this I've already cut the magnet sheet based on my desired size I wanted the letters bigger So I made it 2 inches by 1 and 1 fourth inch Now, it's time to draw the outline of the letter patterns on the magnet sheet. You can do a freehand lettering or you can print out a font that you want to trace. This is one of the easiest letter to create. For letters with no curved edges, you can use scissors, but make sure to cut only before any line intersects. To smoothly cut the edges that intersect, use a cutter instead. The letters B and R were some of the letters that were quite challenging. For these letters, it's better to use a cutter to smoothly cut out the curved edges. So here are all the letters I created using a rubber magnet sheet. Now, let's move on to the whiteboard. I wanted a contrast of a black and white surface. So I decided to put a masking tape on the area that I don't want painted. Just keep repeating the process until you've covered the parts you want to conceal. And we're ready to paint. Cover the floor with newspaper to avoid staining it with paint. Make sure to use a mask to protect yourself from inhaling the fumes. Shake the can continuously, then start spraying 20 centimeters away from the surface. Do the same for the whiteboard. Once you're done spraying on the board, Make sure to remove the masking tape while the paint is still wet. 
because if you remove the masking tape after the paint dries, the painted edges may peel off as you pull the tape. I do have other bottles like this, which I will be using for another DIY project. This is where I have put most of the trash that I can upcycle, including the rubber magnet debris and the masking tape I used for this project. So that's it for now. So you can also suggest on the comment box below if you have any other suggestions on how to minimize our impact on the environment while we are creating our DIY projects. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye!